The bus came by and I got on. In the immortal words of Alan Shepard, man, what a ride. Ken Kesey was the most creative person I've ever been around. Kesey embraced the virtual nature of the World Wide Web by conceptualizing Zyberjam. That is, take the bus on the road, plug into T1 lines at, Zy at cyber cafes and universities, and feed the live audio directly into the internet. We hacked into whatever line, phone line, or network was available just to post daily web updates on what was happening on the bus and the annex of all the people on board. Kesey and Babs relished the exchange of email that poured into the intrepidtrips.com website. Almost everyone who sent in a so story got to get it posted at Intrepid Trips. In 1999, the bus was shipped to the UK. Kesey decided to search for Merlin. He said, it is the end of the millennium, and we need to find some new magic. Besides, he said, we have to search for something. Here is an excerpt from one of those daily updates from the UK. August 14, London. Over tea time, the research from the trip to the British Museum had been analyzed and discussed. The band of merry pranksters boarded the bus and headed out to Greenwich where artist, British artists Ken Bright and family hosted a barbecue for us. We were so overwhelmed by their hospitality as we were at the artifacts in the British Museum. Ken Bright's daughter Lucy was Ken Babs and Ken Kesey's driver the year before when they were on a book tour. There were knockers and chicken on the barbecue and a large table with lots of additional food and enough wine to turn our teeth purple. The house was filled with all things familial and decorated with wonderful art. One painting in the study was of particular interest. It was primed and blank, ready for painting. After dinner, Ken Bright invited Kesey upstairs to have a look at it. The suggestion was made to have the pranksters paint something on it. Kesey seized the opportunity, lifting the five by five foot canvas off the wall, walking it out and laying it in the street. David the Cavid went into the back of the bus to dispatch the art box. All of the pranksters, including every curious little kid in the neighborhood, dipped their hands in the paint and painted the canvas. While the paint was still wet, Kesey directed George Walker to drive the bus over the front of the canvas. <laughs> the result was the most colorful work of modern art created this century in Great Britain. <laughs> Kesey and Bright carried the painting into the house and hung it back on the wall in the study. Babs signed it, Pranksters, 99. The drive back to the hotel in London that evening was a good study on how to create chaos into the night. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Life is but a dream. Chuck Kesey told me that when one of Ken's young grandsons was told that Ken had died, the little boy thought about it for a few moments, then asked, but who will teach us magic tricks now? <laughs>